Now, as part of the great climate change challenge, uh, we're talking about energy transitions and the need to make them sustainable, just and inclusive. How can the global energy transition be people-centric, especially given the complexities of the global south and the need to include marginalized communities? That is the focus of GAP or a Global Energy Alliance for People and Planet. And that is the question that's being addressed at GAP's the Energy Transition Dialogue that's being held in the national capital from the 1st of November to the 3rd. NDT we spoke to GAP's Vice President for India, Saurav Kumar. GAP is convening the India Energy Transition Dialogues. We have picked out six thematic pillars around this, centered around what needs to be done in the global south, including financing. And we are getting all the alliance partners. So Global Energy Alliance is a, is a set of alliances, mm -hmm. including uh, our three founding partners, has all the MDBs in the world. So we are getting everybody together. How do we make sure that we create a solution, a pathway, a roadmap hmm. that, can, that can help countries like India uh, leading uh, fr from the front and, and solutions that, again, a theme that G20 had. If you look at India, uh, India has committed in Glasgow uh, 500 gigawatt of, of renewable capacity. As we speak today, we are nearly uh, reaching 200 gigawatts, which means, and most importantly, uh, the annual capacity addition in renewables has been about 10 to 12 gigawatts. Now, if in the next six years we were to reach this target, which I'm pretty sure the kind of vision and leadership India has, mm. it will. We need to upscale 10 to 12 gigawatts per year to about 50 to 60. That's a five time jump. And that's why I, I will bring back what I just mentioned about how, how critical is this tripling of renewable energy. Is that one big focus of the government of India has been on decentralized renewables, which has, which has not triggered the way the, the utility scale uh, renewables have. And therefore, we are supporting the states in basically decarbonizing or solarizing agriculture. Now, that itself will give about 150 gigawatts. Then looking at small and medium enterprises and, and, and rooftop solutions for them, which A, is good for the, for, for the, for the climate, B, for those SME uh, units or micro units, hmm. Today they are paying about 10 to 12 rupees per unit as, as, as the grid power reduces to about half. The idea is to accelerate climate action, ac accelerate energy access. Our, our intent is to create ecosystems by, by providing our catalytic capital and then crowd in private uh, investments uh, uh, into that sector. Entice spreads across our entire portfolio of work and, and basically what we thought India has a brilliant ecosystem as far as startups are concerned. Mm -hmm. And so the, we put out uh, uh, four challenge statements uh, which are contemporary, which are, which are necessary for, for, for India to decarbonize, India to progress its clean energy goals. And this cuts across de decentralized renewables, battery energy storage, which is absolutely critical when it comes to, to, to uh, uh, having uh, renewable energy in the terms that we are looking at. So we put out these challenges through our partners uh, and we put a consortium of partners together and I must, I'm very proud to say that uh, we have a, a great set of people, partners that we have including the office of the principal scientific advisor who helped us, industry associations, startups, uh, uh, associations and financial uh, institutions. If you look at the the, the, the way venture capital industry in this country is working uh, given that we have a massive startup ecosystem, uh, climate ranks uh, ninth in terms of priorities for, for venture capital. And within climate, energy and clean energy is even lesser. Hmm. It's not very hard to understand yeah. uh, because, because the tech industry has go grown so quickly. A VC wants to put in money and in three, four years time make a return. But in an infrastructure-based startup, you need to be patient. So we are also setting up a venture capital fund right. using a catalytic capital, attracting other, other uh, funders into this so that uh, entice becomes a funnel right. through which we get high quality uh, the, uh, startups. We provide them the funding to scale up. Is we need solutions that are innovative, that are different, and that's what entice is 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 intending to do. The energy transition dialogue that I spoke about six thematic areas. We intend to create a roadmap for this, and as as we transition and and look at what policy changes, what implementation changes we need. So this this is what my uh, our our uh, look out as far as. Uh, of course, we will present entice. We will present uh, our, our, our grace platforms. Thank you.